the skills and capability that we, we bring to the table are very important. So we bring together the combined capability of companies within our group. EPUs, which is one of the world's largest independent SAP HR payroll uh, service providers. EPUs Labs, which provides significant IP and software to help accelerate the process of an S4 conversion and also provides application lifecycle management uh, software for ongoing maintenance and improvement. And then ourselves, G3G, that bring to bear the functional capability in the finance and logistics areas. We assess your environment on its merit and can provide a number of different approaches to move you to S4. If we're going to just simply do an upgrade of your existing environment, what's often termed a brownfield conversion, essentially what you're doing in this case is you're upgrading the chassis of your system but you're keeping everything else in place. The second option is a greenfield conversion. And a greenfield conversion is where you essentially start from scratch based on S4HANA business best practice processes. And this is typically required where you've got significant customization in your environment, or perhaps your system is very, very old and you just want to have a clean start, start with opening balances and fresh master data and have a nice clean environment going forward. So hybrid conversion is required where, for example, you might want to keep some of your existing configuration but perhaps you want to change some of it and only bring in parts of your data. So in a hybrid conversion, we would use our um, EPUs Lab software to create a shell of an environment with the configuration without any data, make appropriate configuration changes, and then selectively bring data into that environment. So it gives you significant flexibility. There's a number of clients where, as EPUs Labs and G3G, we've performed uh, hybrid conversions. So one was a, a global technology company headquartered uh, in Europe where they wanted to perform a hybrid conversion where they kept the elements of the existing configuration but also made significant changes. They wanted to, for example, merge controlling areas, change group currencies and, and make a number of other significant changes to the organizational structure. So what we did in that situation is we stood up a, a fresh installation of S4HANA 2020, made a number of changes to the configuration and then selectively brought in the data, including the merging of company code data, into that target environment, giving the client exactly what they needed going forward, but without the need to start completely from scratch as a greenfield conversion. We also have an example in the United States uh, for a large school district where on embarking on a project that was a brownfield conversion, we very quickly discovered that it was not possible to, to do a brownfield conversion because they needed to change the organizational structure around the public sector solution in SAP. So at that point, what we did instead is we set up a shell copy of their ECC environment, upgraded it to S4 HANA, completely empty without any data, made the changes that we needed to, and then performed um, a traditional migration into that environment, again, giving the client what they needed with the change configuration to support their business going forward.